Hey guys, Mark here. Welcome. In today's video, we're going to cover the topic of starting breeds. More specifically, we're going to take a look at my process for figuring out how to start around breeds. This process is not rocket science and I'm sure that many people have figured out pretty much the same thing in the past. Still, it is very handy, especially for intermediate and advanced knot tires. Let's take a look. To be as clear as possible, I'm going to demonstrate the process of figuring out the starts of breeds on three examples. First, the four-stranded round breed, then the six-stranded round breed, and finally the eight-stranded herringbone breed. Our first example is the four-stranded round breed. The first step in our process is to create a short length of our braid using up all of our ends. So, in a four-stranded braid, we use up four ends. In a six-stranded braid, we go through six ends. In an eight-stranded braid, we go through all eight ends. So this is the end position for one rotation of our ends. This is also the starting position for the next rotation, so the natural start to our braid. Let's note it down. Imagine that these two ends here are just traveling from right to left, and these two are woven through these two ends. So this end is traveling under the first one here and over the second one. So under over. The second one, so this one, is traveling over this one, under this one. So over, under. To note it down, I drew it on this piece of paper. So these two strands are just traveling from right to left. The first one is woven under, over. The second one over, under. So the start of our braid. These two travel from right to left. These two are woven, the first one under over, so under over, the second one over under, over under. So this is the natural start for the four-stranded round braid. You then simply continue your next rotation The next example is the six-stranded round braid. Again, we use up all six of our ends, braiding the six-stranded round braid, at which point we note down the sequence.
again the strands from right towards the left are in place while we note down the sequences of these three. So the first one here is traveling under this one, over this one, under this one. The second one is traveling over, under, over, the third one, under, over, under. So the sequence is the following. Now we can replicate it at the start. So these three strands are simply traveling from right to left and we weave these three under, over, under, the second one over, under, over, the third one under, over, under. So the starting sequence for the six stranded round braid. Then you can simply continue your braiding. Our last example is the 8-stranded herringbone braid. Again, we go through all of our ends, at which point we note down the sequence. Again, we treat these four strands as simply traveling from right towards the left. These four are woven through the initial four. So the first one we can see is traveling under two, then over two. The second one is traveling over one, under two, over one. The third one is traveling over two, under two. And the final one here is traveling under one, over two, under one. So, noted down, it would look like this. We can now break apart this experiment, we treat these four strands as simply traveling from right to left, and we weave these four in our sequence. So the first one is traveling under two, over two, the second one over, under two, over, the third one, over two, under two, the last one, under, over two, under. 
This is the start to the eight stranded herringbone braid. Just like in all previous braids, you can now continue A few examples of how I figured out the ideal start for round braids. I hope you found this video useful, thank you for joining me and see you next time.